They are looking for two additional suspects. They are searching for them right now, canvassing the area. I can tell you they have found a gun. Many of you at home might be shocked to learn their owner. This man can get them back as soon as they get their rabies shots. We want to get your side of the story, but we learned one of the victims was able to escape. She ran across the street to this home. I'm at the corner of Hunt and Liberty Streets here in Central Falls. Just take a look. This is the scene of a fatal shooting and for hours this police tape. We're live here in Boroughville. I can tell you that the police chief just let us know. Yes, they have found the body of a man. There was a storm going on, but neighbors tell me it wasn't loud enough to stop them from hearing banging on the front front door. Sierra Putman is live in Providence now with an exclusive account of how one suspect was caught. Sierra? We now can officially say that the owner of the pawn shop was the victim in this shooting. You can see Capital Gold's lights are finally off. They were just turned off probably an hour ago, even though this place has been shut down all day. And it turns out one of the suspects was arrested not far from here after that person scared a mom home alone with her baby. He knocked on my door and he said that he needed help. A simple enough request, but something didn't sit right with Yardinia Guzman. He needed help and that he won't harm me or anything. I got nervous and then I called the police. When they arrived, the young mother learned the man looking for help had a gunshot wound. The police found the clothes in the basement. Yeah. And were they bloody clothes? Yes. Providence police say he's also one of three suspects in a bloody early morning shooting at the Capitol Gold pawn shop on Smith Street. A passerby called police after finding the owner of the shop lying in a pool of blood. This kind of business is always risky because you deal with a certain element of people. Family and friends tell me the owner's name is Justin Kemp. He suffered a life-threatening gunshot wound. He's one of these people who's been able to do well for himself, educate himself, build a business and uh, take care of his family. The shop is less than a mile away from Guzman's home on Ayralt Street. That first suspect probably went down Rebel Street to get there. Police did find a gun. Now I'm told they found the gun in a driveway here on Rebel Street. They might have even found it in this driveway. A second suspect was found across town near Wesleyan Street. He too had a gunshot wound and is under surveillance at Rhode Island Hospital. Now police search for their third and final suspect. And this is an ongoing investigation. We have several calls out to police and as soon as we get new information, NBC 10 will share it with you on our social media sites online. And of course, when you turn to NBC 10, reporting live in Providence, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News. Well, Dan, I can tell you the NBC 10 I team first reported last winter that a Pawtucket officer was under investigation. And we now know it's the same officer seen in this recent video that sparked protests here outside of Tolman High School. This is video from back in 2014. You see an officer hit a man several times with a baton and then spray the suspect with pepper spray after he and two other patrolmen appear to have the man pinned to the ground. That officer was Jared Boudreau, the same man seen in this video showing him arresting two teenage brothers at Tolman High School. 17-year-old Evander DeBurgo is handcuffed on the floor. Then you see the officer flip and slam his 14-year-old brother Tyler. He's our school resource officer. I think that he should protect the kids and not be slamming them on their neck. I think he could have definitely handled that a different way. If your 14-year-old son got slammed like that, how would you feel? Boudreau was cleared of any wrongdoing in a Pawtucket Police internal investigation. The Pawtucket School District told the Valley Breeze it did not know about the incident when Boudreau was hired as a school resource officer. State police are taking over this second investigation to see if he acted appropriately with the brothers. What do you want to see happen? I want him out that school. I also just got off the phone with City Hall and they gave me new information letting me know that Boudreaux started working here as a school resource officer in August 2014. Coming up at 6, we're going to hear more about Boudreaux's time with the police department and you're going to hear more from those teen brothers. Reporting live in Pawtucket, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News. Doing the night team tonight, Central Falls says all new teachers have to be ESL certified. ESL, if you're not familiar with that terminology, stands for English as a second language. Now, teachers don't have to be bilingual.
bilingual, but it does take extra work and money. The night team Sierra Putman takes us into the classroom now to find out how. Wait, had a great power. The beat flowed as he settled into... It's reading time in Kathy Bellows' fourth grade class in Central Falls. What does this say? Bellows teaches a mainstream ESL English as a second language class at Ella Risk Elementary School. This is her first year being ESL certified, despite 10 years in the classroom. Try to say them out loud, hear them when you say them. 715 Central Falls students out of about 2,800 are registered as English language learners. Whether these students are certified as English English language learners or not, many of them are bilingual. And so to be able to know how to bridge the school and the home is paramount to their success. Bell says the certification helps all her students. Most, if not all students, have made gains at least one grade level. And she did not have to learn Spanish or another language to do uh, it. It's about strategies in the classroom. How do you relate? Superintendent Dr. Francis Gallo tells NBC10 the certification is a requirement for all new teachers. Now, does it cost a lot more? It's no, it doesn't cost a lot more. It, it is a lot of effort. Starting pay stays the same, but the district also set aside $15,000 so veteran teachers can earn their certification. So far, 80 teachers, nearly 45%, are ESL certified. The district partnered with Rhode Island College for these certifications. Tuition is reduced and veteran teachers, well, they don't have to come on campus to go to class. Instead, the classes are taught in Central Falls School. The more the teacher knows to be able to help them succeed their goals, the better place they're going to be. For a district trying to make a comeback, a reaching goals early is key if it wants to increase graduation rates. The vocabulary list, right? And reduce absenteeism. Yes. Good job. Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.